Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So I said that we're going to go to Ellipse or try and find Ellipse today. So let's go ahead and do that first of all. I've got the ender chest in front of me here. If I can reach him, I'll have to go. It's probably very easy to press F5, isn't it? Right, click it. So I've got everything we need. We've got a quarry, which is enchanted. Because I want to compare the difference. Actually, that's a mining well. We've got an ender chest for... Oh, We've got that one basically called carbon, this will be a sterling generator. Uh, another end of chest for the stuff, and that'll be sufficient. So let's get on and go. Let's take this one. I've got the, the warp stone. Fuel tanks and rocket we need, don't we? Put that up there, so we need two fuel tanks. One rocket, one launch pad. Probably best if I do it like this one too. So let's go and see what check what time of day it is. Probably be alright. Maybe we can have a quick sleep before we go. I don't think it's night time. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it is. But it won't be night time for very long because it looks like it's coming up to morning. So there is a mob straight ahead of us. Oh, it actually looks like it's underneath. It's probably in the in there. Right, set this down. Put the rocket on it. Let's check the fuel and the stuff. That's powered up. That's fine. That's got plenty of fuel in it. This has got enough fuel in it. We'll just put this in here like that. Empty the two tanks out. Because we need this when we're going to land. We want the clock in the middle so we can see what time of day it is when we get up there. <laughs> Another to the a tower of helium has been formed over there. That's really strange. So let's get in here and let's have a look at the fuel supply, if it's full yet, nearly. And as soon as that gets full, we shall go. Okay, let's press escape and press space. Do you know what I was planning to do? So I was planning to get in the other side. But don't think it makes any difference. I'm sure my back is always towards us wherever, however we get into it. And I'm going to be honest, I do know where it is. I couldn't find it last time, but of course, Zero Life gave me the tip. So we know where it is. And it's actually not as obvious as you think. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about when I get up there, which is any second now. You see, we get the solar system here. Now I've tried all the planets, so if there's any moons. I tried changing the solar system, going up here, clicking Milky Way, and you can't do it. But what you can do, is you can mouse scroll this, uh, down as it were and you see another constellation so here we've got this other constellation here so we can then click on these planets or let's click on the center bit here and zoom to zoom in out right? it doesn't do anything oh yes it does but if we actually look at this now you don't see very much all you see is this here what's this mercury oh, that's strange that means we've gone back in again so let's just uh, press escape to go out. We've actually ended up in our own planet, so there we go now. So what we can do is we can click along here and then we can find it, possibly. So what do we have here? Hera, but well, we can't get there because it's got a tier question mark. This one here is Hestia, we can't get there. This one out the outside said so. So the one on the inside here must be, if I got it, which I didn't, try again. And we've got a tier three, ellipse, spelt. Elpis. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> it's a good name. Right, let's go and uh, visit this place, shall we? So we've got a landing balloon. Right, landing balloons are good because we don't have to do anything with landing balloons, as far as I remember. And it's morning again. We're bouncing up and down. Quite nicely. And I'm just having a quick look around to see if there's a place we can go and hide in. We've got a place already. Now, if I remember from Galactic 
science one this place is actually rather nasty it was let's clip the stuff out of there put the two tanks in that one and this one oh it's okay the last time i came here I used to get poisoned well, i thought it was i think it was this place we came to so let's go into this mountain here the rr pickaxe oh it's i can hear has this got an out might have an atmosphere this place let's go what have we got five by five three by three good perfect that'll do fine put some torches down and make another bit over make another bit of oops yes that's what i thought you get hurt here so we can't be fairly quick when we're actually here i think there's a poison on it so let's put some of this rock up here what have we got a surface rock I don't know if there's a way to get around this. Let's have a look. Press E. Nausea 3. So you get nausea when we're here. So I don't know how long I'm allowed to stay here before I start to die. And I haven't got with me anything really food-wise. So let's get this chest down, first of all. And we, once we've got the chest, like that, and put down the waystone, we can always come back again. So this is Ellipse, or Elpis, I will call it. And now we just check we've got the, the waste there with us, we have it. So we can right click this one here and we've activated it. So now we can go back to the to the moon. I'm going to go back to the moon because I need, to, so I'm going to come and do some mining here. So next, moon base. Then we need to take some basically some food and some regen with us so we'll have to make these two and come back over there so now we can actually when that comes back in look at the state of my health so just down in here it's penicillin and then the food and we regen very fast so we're all right now well that's a bit of a shock actually i do remember that from galactic science one when i came there i do remember having a prob problem with that so what have we got here subsurface rock let's look at uses of subsurface rock So if we see it, we get emerald dust and can't spell this name out to you. <laughs> can't spell this name out to you, which is uh, got a very, very high XXX. Look at that. 6,138. That must be the highest of them all. <laughs> and a 50% drop of it. What do we do with this one? Make an emerald dust. And that one, we can make four of those. What do we do with this one? Can we compress it? Implosion compressor gives us four with some dynamite. will give us three emeralds and some dark ashes. Industrial electrolyzer. There's the other recipe we've got by the looks of it, which looks quite complicated. What do we get here? A silicon cell. So, do we have to pay? Okay, 18 cells. That's no big deal. And then we get out of that these things. We get an industrial from industrial craft a compressed air cell. Some recipes. That's a bit strange. Can't be right. Okay, another silicon cell. Some aluminium dust and a beryllium cell. Okay, three of those. So that looks like interesting stuff. And the previous one, emeralds and dark ashes with lots of TNT. TNT. I've forgotten. Flint and gum. Oh. It's one of those, is it? TNT itself is just gunpowder and sand. Well, I've got plenty of both of those, I think. Wow. The other one we've got here, that's that one. It's, oh, I didn't check all of the uses of that, did I? I just went through the crafting. That was sieving. Oh, just sieving. We can just sieve that one. And the cobblestone. For, we get oil. 25 milli buckets for one of those so that's going to be a lot of oil and it's only 5000 rf now if i remember rightly there's quite a few that's just is that the only thing we can do with that yes there is oil we can refine it let's go back yeah that's right so moon dirt was the other way of getting it, and that's 50000 rf so this one's 5000 so it's 10 times less it gives us 25 milli buckets 
this gives us five millibuckets, so it's a lot more efficient using this one. That's actually another good tip. So, so I'm going to have to make some other bits and pieces before we can go there. That's interesting. I'm just debating whether I'm going to I'm going to prepare those between episodes. I think I'm not going to do it now. I don't think I've got time to do it now. No, probably not. And it's anyway, we've done it already before. We'll make some penicillin and some glycine. We've got plenty of glycine, so that's no big deal. A penicillin will give us some regen. Uh, maybe we'll take some aspirin as well, because then we can stand in the aspirin and we get re regen all the time. So that's another good thing. So let's have a look. I want to look at the quests. Because we did have completed a few quests. So the moon transfer is all done. Stars align. We've just basically got to get the EU matter out. Let's see if we can do this now. Because I in here basically I've got some scrap. No shortage of scrap. Look how much scrap I've got. Let's put these away by the way. Oh, there is something else we can do. Let's take this ME storage component here. 16 million storage. Which is huge. That's what the uses for this thing is. Click here, it's right there. As far as I can see, the only uses we've got is to put it as a crafting cell. So we do it shapeless, shapeless or shaped. So you can do that one. So we need some dust, wasn't it? Let's craft uh, six of these. No CPUs available. Now there should be one, I guess. There should be one available fairly soon. Because it doesn't take very long. We need three, don't we? And then we get out this enormous crafting cell. So let's put it in. Well, I'm keeping everything in here at the moment. So put that one in there. And that's going to, hopefully, we can then basically partition this one. I probably should partition it, actually. So it get for the things that we've got lots and lots of. So let's take that out of there. And then we'll, take, we'll go and do that later on. We'll put it in here for the time being. And we'll partition it. And so we basically put everything that we've got huge amounts of. So we've got Mars cobblestone, Pluto cobblestone, cobblestone. And then we can put butane and iron in as well. And magnesium, possibly. And broken iron ore. Which is going up and down. as It's going up all the time, isn't it? And we've got quite a reasonable amount of compressed coal. Which is actually now limited, of course. Yeah, I'm limiting that to... Was it? Seven hundred, no, five hundred thousand. Yeah. So when it goes below, it doesn't use them up. When it goes above, it gets stopped. That was making industrial diamonds, if I remember rightly. So let's get on and do that bit. So the scrap bit is downstairs. I'm gonna put and I place this down here to see what what materials we needed. Do you know? I don't know what I did with these fusion walls here. I can't. Don't know how I managed to get that so badly calculated. Oh, and this is the way to automate it. So, for instance, I didn't show you this last time. I've got, I've got a spare chest here to put everything. Let's just do. Let's just make another nether star to show you what I'm talking about. So, in here, I've got all the ingredients for nether star. So, I've got barium, carbon, three stacks of hydrogen, and four stacks of helium. So, all I need to do now is to split this one into two, like this. I put one inside, basically it's one side goes in one, one side, so we put, I'll show you what I'm talking about, put that in there. Now that's in the front. Now when you click on this, that's going to go in the left hand side. And when you put it in the side, it's going to go in the right hand side, like that. And then that's going to make cubinicum here. And that's going to come in here, unfortunately, because the way I've done it, it's, like, it's not as fast as it should have been. I probably should have put those in half a stack and they go like that now in here we've got all the recipes we need for, for that so we can simply just click everything into place and take out another star there we go simple as that and the automation to get it out is from underneath it here like this so basically i've just got a uh, an item duct here so if i come here and press shift lift click on this you can see i've got a stack um an item upgraded which is producing things out by the stack and it's always active 
the other thing I've done is put on the top of here some chandeliers. Now the chandeliers prevent mobs spawning within a 16 block radius from there. So there's not going to be mobs spawning inside it. That was what that's all about. Now, right, well, let's go and collect the other bits and pieces we've got here. We want to do the scrap and get the UU matter so we can complete this quest. Now that's this one here. Now at the moment it's turned off and it's turned off because I haven't got any scrap in there like that. So look at this now. We've got two UU matter. That should be okay. I don't think I need the capacity card in here. Like that. Matter fabricator, what's wrong with this thing? Has it got no power? Thermal generator. Liquid amount, in and out. I don't think I've got a problem here. I'm sure I've got a problem because I'm not actually giving this any power, am I? Oops, that's not clever. This is tech reward, so it needs basic standard power. Let me just see if I've got any power going underneath these machines. I wonder how I did that before. Because this should have plenty of liquid in it. St still lava 11, 11. Okay. So basically, I was pumping lava into it before, wasn't I? From here. Well, I probably should move everything, but... I'm not going to. I'm going to find another power supply for this. So we should got over here, of course. And I'm pretty sure we've got power coming in underneath this stuff. Yes, we have. Good. So I should be able to bring power down through here. We could probably use the heavy metal. I think I'll just see if the, the, the light ones do the job. I like aluminium wires. Oh, they don't work, do they? No, they don't connect. I've got to use the other type. I wonder if it's possible. Let's just see if I can connect these two together. Ender IO, let's see if this connects to it. Not connecting, look, it won't connect to that one. Now, can we get it across? Have I got enough? No, I haven't got enough. But we could quickly make some more. Let's put this down like that. Or maybe just use some redstone energy flux. I've probably got plenty of that. And if not, we can make some quickly. So, let's have a look. Yeah, I've got plenty of energy. I thought it'd be... I made some for the some more cry, cryogenic... Uh, Stabilised flux duct, so that should be fine. Right, where are we? Here. So what I want to do is basically come underneath here from this. This is the output, isn't it? So let's just put the cable down here. I don't really need to break that one it back in a second and let's just take these out of here as well and then put these down interesting they're actually joining up to all those machines I don't think they will actually join up properly don't like that let's do it like this Now we need to put one aluminium back. Let's just remove that one from there, make sure it doesn't connect in. Let's put the aluminium cable down here, or the aluminium wire. <laughs> Funny how it does that. Right, so they shouldn't be connecting in there. And I will probably have to... So I can't see down here. Let's just see if we can see down here. If 
it's actually connected to DIN. It has connected. Oh, and it's working. So we are actually producing some E some matter at the moment. So we've produced three. We need sixty-four of these. That's going to take a very long time. No wonder people complained about it. Um, I would prefer to remove the, all of this and just put it all of it into the. So do that anyway. If I can just reach that. No. Yep. Can. Let's put them down. That wants to connect down here for something or other. Let's remove that. Yep. There we go. Three. Wow. I don't know if this power makes any difference to this thing, because if it does, we could move the whole machine and put it onto the uh, cryostabilized flux duct, and that will give us a lot more power. Four. See, this isn't emptying, and I'm just wondering whether it needs more power. I'll tell you what we'll do. We will try that. So let's remove that from there and then we can remove this now I need my tool here so we could break the the matter fabrica fabricator like that oh it's floating around so I'm going to put it down around about here so I'll remove these I don't like things floating around, so let's just see where we can put those things. Have we got anywhere I can put them? No. Let's go to this chest over here. Right, that picks up that. That's fine. And let's get some cryostabilized flux duct as well. I'm not keeping it there in the moment. anymore. I'm keeping it in here, aren't I? Yep, I've got eight down there, that's fine. Oh, I've done something that's not very sensible, but never mind. Because what I'm going to do is I'll put it down. I'll put it down here. Yeah, that will actually be a good place. Let's put it down there. So that should have plenty of power in it. So now what we want to do is, it's actually connected up to those, which I don't want it to do. Actually, I can't do that. Let's move this down. Let's put it here. Yep, that looks like a good place. Let's put the power down into the... Can we put the power down on the side of it like this? I don't want them to join up, that's all. So maybe that's not such a good idea. Let's remove this. I'm not, still not happy with this place. Let's put it down here. In the corner here like this. I'll remove this one. And we can put the dryer flux duct on it like that. And that should give you plenty of power. And I can fill this in, in later on. So for this, we could simply take some more uh, ME glass cable and feel it across here. Feed it across here, I mean. Like that. Bring it into the side. Put the expert bus on the side here. There it is. Put it into the export bus scrap. And it should need four cards. Let's put the four cards into oh, they're the wrong type. Where the other's gone to? Let's check this. Oh. That doesn't seem to be working at all with it. Okay. That doesn't work. So let's remove this one. Let's put, so we might as well put the redstone energy flux back on it, huh? Which we can connect from here, of course. Oh, that's working well. So, what have I done wrong here? Well, that looks okay. It's not ideal. 
I didn't remove this one from over here yet, so let's do that. That's the recycler working away over here. Oh yes, I know what the problem is. I've lost the accelerators. Where have they gone to? I bet they've gone in here. Look at that, they have indeed. So what's the problem with this? It doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh, no, it's working fine. And it's keeping up. I don't need to put more cards in that, in that case. Well, the thing I can do, just leave it. And I think we'll just have to, because it's not obviously going to come in very fast, is it? Let's have a look at what we've got. I've put the year matter in here. Let's have a look at your year matter. Eight. That's wrong. We must have only just put in four, so I don't think. Yeah. See how it takes time before that settles down. Well, it's going to use a lot of resources. How many? How much scrap have we got in here? We have a lot of scrap. So maybe by the end of the scrap, we've actually got enough to do this. Let's have a look. 125,000. Will we get 64 out of that amount of scrap? I don't think we're going to. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a pain. But never mind, I can't do anything about it. I just have to make more scrap and keep doing that. And I'll keep doing that actually off camera. I don't think there's any point recording it. You've seen it all now. So what I want to do next is to make some aspirin. I think, let's just double check these quests as well while I'm here. Clear that one off. Done. So that's that one. We basically got to get that. Maybe that's the end of this one. I'm not sure. Crystalline. Well, we've done already one of these. Which one do we complete? This one. What are you waiting for? We've actually pretty completed this one now. That one's already completed. And that one, which we haven't really done. We only need to do these when we actually need to do them. The next one's take flight. Now, this one here, rooted, we've got to make 10 industrial centrifuges. Not actually so bright, difficult. Let's see if we can do that. What I'm a bit confused about is why we actually need them. Because we can get five from this reward, rooted, and we also get another one from par this. We well, don't need this item reward. And it's made from an extract. Ten, so we need 10 extractors, refined steel plates, and advanced circuits, and advanced machine casings. So we're going to need 20 of these. Let's see if we can make 20 of these. <laughs> we can make none. So what was that that was needed? I think if I'm not mistaken, it was steel plates. Okay. So let's make some steel plates. We're going to need 40. Steel plates. I know. Hold on a second. We need 10. And we need 80. Cancel. Let's go back. Now, of course, it's stuck. So, what, what we are crafting, I think we're still crafting these machine parts. Well, I can stop that. Well, I actually don't need to do that. Let's have a little steel plates. Yes, I can start that now. So that'll make these. So we need advanced alloys, which we've got. How many of those have we got? We've got 72 circuits, that's plenty. Advanced alloys, I've got 172, that should also be plenty. So once we've got these steel plates, we can start to craft these advanced machine frames. So we're going to need two for each one, so we're going to need 20 of those. Let's have a look how we're doing. Stored 40, yeah, that should actually be being made. Where are they then? There's probably one of those problematic ones.
because it's in a self-crafting recipe. That one. Let's move that one down to here. I think that'll do. I've been moving them around a bit because of the way that the automation works. So let's just try that again. Well, that's a bit weird. Because we've already got those. What I'm going to do to prevent that working, just come along here and turn on this interface here like that. And that'll prevent more of these being started. It's because I ended up 59 fusion walls too many. I know exactly what I did wrong. It was a really stupid mistake, but never mind. I mixed up the two sets of um, items. Let's so look. Now we're making snow, plates, and iron. Let's cancel that one, cancel that one, cancel that one. Right, let's try that again. Those are coming very fast. So something's wrong. Oh, maybe not. Let's cancel it because it doesn't look right to me at all and this was not working either because that should be another one that's just almost instantaneous so let's try that again now plates where are they all stored and craftable and it had a whole load of refined iron plates start Two hundred and twenty crafting eighty. Tell you what, I know where that is. It might be something I've done some because I had a few troubles over here. So, but that should be in here. Ah, yes. So why is that not pulling the stuff out? Is my system full? They've all got they're, they're all activated. As you can see, you've got all the those are all lit up. I just linked across there, that's no big deal. Well that's a bit strange, isn't it? I wonder if the system's blocked up. The anyway, best way to find that out of course shouldn't be, of course. Because we've now got plenty of items in here. I'll tell you what we do. Maybe I've got to rush this, what I didn't want to do earlier on. So let's put this into this uh, chest here. Take out the one we've got already. So we have a look at this. There shouldn't be very much in here. Uh, she wants to fill it up. Mm. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to remove this one here like this. We're going to put in its place uh, a quartz fibre. If I've got any there, which I haven't, so let's put a quartz. Let's go see if we've got a quartz fibre in the system. Now oh, we've got two. Fantastic. Now by doing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it power without actually connecting it to the network, so we can then basically configure it. Like that. You see now it's connected and there'll be nothing coming into this network at all. This is 128 there, so they was blocked in that case. I need a chest and I can't do it because I'm missing eight pieces of wood. Ah oh dear, I'm not doing very well. I'll tell you what, basically I've run out of time again. Uh, 
I really have messed up because put those into the item mopper there so they can be pulled in and that then should bring us the wood out so we're fine so what I'm going to do between now and the next episode is see how we're getting on with you you matter oops don't want to do that I want to press F5 cancel I to, took three presses so I'm going to do that I'm going to fix the um, the storage see if we can clear it out and partition the that particular cell just to contain the large number of items so until next time bye for now <laughs>